Hello, hello everyone and welcome to Divine Day Boo. This is Kathy speaking. I hope that you're all doing well. Okay, we're looking into a prelude, so a sneak peek into each individual sign for the year 2022. Now, this is going to be a short video, an introduction, because I will be doing longer, a longer reading for each sign with extended, uh, the extended version of the year of 2022 for each of you uh, soon. But this is just a general overview into, we'll be looking into love, money and career, family and health. For each sign, you can watch your um, sun sign, your rising sign, your moon sign. I suppose if you're watching this reading for love, you can always look at your Venus. I mean, Venus means money and love and value. So I suppose you can check out your Venus sign if Venus is not in your um, original zodiac sign in the same placement, same house. So Mars, you can watch, I suppose, if it's anything related to career. Um, and the North Node, which is uh, fate and where we should be heading towards. Um, you can watch that as well, that sign, and where you've got your north node of the moon. So, um, let's jump straight into each sign. I want to wish you all a wonderful Christmas and a happy new year of 2022. We know with, with um, Jupiter ingressing into Pisces, it will be a lot of help. It will be very helpful. It will be a huge awakening, I feel, for many of us, for the collective, on a more spiritual value, spiritual sense. After all the um, difficulties we've been going through, Jupiter will uh, bring that optimism, that sense of freedom, and that understanding, that wisdom, I feel, through a spiritual practice, through obviously us connecting to divine to spirit okay now we'll also be taking a message from the angels goddess uh, gods and goddesses um for a general uh, oracle message for the whole year for each of you i'll be looking into the karma dharma and the areas i spoke to you about before so let's jump straight into it Thank you so much for your support. Let's go on to the readings. Hello, hello, dear Aries, and welcome to Divine Day Boo. Let's see what 2022, what the prelude is, what is the uh, the general energies that we are picking up for 2022 for the sun sign, not only sun sign, rising sign, moon sign, Venus, Mars, and North Node in... Aries, so the archetype, the frequency of Aries uh, for 2022, dear spirit, what do we need to know? And we have the chariot, dear Aries, so the chariot speaks to a house movement, it speaks to being put in a position of power where you um, decide you're not scattered, your energy is not scattered and uh, you're able to move forward towards what uh, you have been wishing for. Now, cancer can also, uh, because it rules the fourth house in our home, matters to do with the past, our mother or our parents. It's got a lot to do with your home. Uh, could also be your place, your place of birth. So the place you call home, the place in your heart that you call home, you could be moving towards there and the Queen of Swords just came through, so this is Libran energy, another cardinal sign, as is uh, Cancer. Cardinal energy means movement, it means newness, uh, new seasons, changes. So it's like a new season is dawning for you, dear Aries. Yes, this could be a house move, you could be um, migrating as well, moving to another part of the world. But this is overcoming. This is forward momentum. 
Okay, remember that cancer is quite sensitive. You could be dealing also with a cancerian person, an important person in your life. Uh, you could have strong cancer in your sign, in your chart, I should say, as well. So let's look for Aries. What's going on in the year of 2022, dear spirit? So let's see what's going on in love. What is the potential in love for Aries? We've got the Five of Cups, Justice card, wow, Libra, and we've got the World card. So some of you are closing a major cycle, a major cycle in matters of love. This could speak to separation, divorce, um, or maybe even um, leaving a difficult chapter in your love life concerning that there was, you know, a, maybe a disharmony, there wasn't equal giving and receiving. Um, Libra speaks to balance and harmony and the world card is also a card of success. Um, success coming through hard work obviously because this is the Saturnian energy. Remember Five of Cups speaks to change and as I spoke of with the chariot it's a change of season metaphorically speaking, uh, timely speaking or literally speaking. So and remember that Justice Libra is uh, right across from you dear Aries so it is more than likely it's got a lot to do with partnerships now partnerships can be in in family in love or in um, uh, business partnerships but nevertheless these three cards mainly uh, are in the love department um, so this is saying that you're ending a relationship maybe when there wasn't or where there wasn't equal giving and receiving. There wasn't any harmony. There was disharmony. So some of you could be uh, thinking of, you know, going through separation. You may be um, realizing something like this. But remember also that the Five of Cups holds those two cups that are still standing. So you could be ending a certain relationship, maybe one that was at a physical distance or maybe you're connecting to a new connection that is at a physical distance. That would be more likely because I see movement here. So it will be different for each of you. Okay, so we've got some water here. Um, Pisces, Cancer, Cancer, Scorpio, Libra is very important for you as well. So justice um, and balance coming through uh, in the love department for you. And the world card can also speak to it can also speak to taking a relationship, if this is a difficult chapter, taking it to the next level as well. So you're over overcoming obstacles and you're succeeding because this could also be called a marriage card. You successfully get to um, end a cycle but with uh, victory. And this is also a victory card, dear Aries. So congratulations. And if you're coming out of a difficult, unbalanced, unfair connection, then you're putting an end to it. So it'll be different for each of you. Let's look at your money and your career, dear Aries. Money and career. So we've got the Page of Swords. This is uh, logically the Gemini energy. We've got the Seven of Swords. And we've got the Full Card. So we don't actually see any pentacles here, but I feel this is um, this is either you starting a new cycle, a new job, a new career, because Page of Swords can also speak to the spy, but it can also speak to the student. So some of you may be learning something um, before you start something new, a new career. This is a new cycle with a full card. Um, the Seven of Swords speaks to intelligence. It also speaks to the ability to steal away with something. So great intelligence. We've got Gemini, which is the logic side of the brain. It's what we, you know, what we either learn or through study. Some of you could also be thinking of educating yourself further for a new career. Okay, and you're taking a leap of faith into that. The Seven of Swords, as I said, can speak to intelligence, but it can also speak to sneakiness. So sneaking away with something, um, is it information that's stolen? Uh, this could be someone that you're dealing with in a, in a job situation. 
okay but this could also be you finding an intelligent way to skip um, some hassles to do with money this could also speak to financial loss for some of you um, I'm gonna say do take care with those of you that work um, on the internet those of you that um, also do your banking I'm gonna say through the internet make sure you uh, protect your passwords be, be careful secure your passwords whatever deals with money and career and um, intelligence so either the you know the um, left brain which is the logic or the high mind because the seven of swords speaks to high intelligence right it's high intelligence um seven of swords is the aquarius energy so uh, aquarius does speak to groups and associations this could also speak to uh, intelligence and coming together with a, a large group of people and working together so collaborating gemini also speaks to collaboration some of you are collaborating with people in the in your environment, close knit environment, and others of you are collaborating collaborating through people that are at a distance, maybe. Okay, so what I see this is as um, you're working on something and you're going to take a leap of faith. This is a new chapter in your career and in your money sector. So. Some of you are also coming out of a contract that you feel may be bound by because we've got eight swords here, which is your perception of being stuck in something. But the full card takes a risk and the risk could also be um, together with friends or some of you are just very loyal to a certain direction speaking career wise. This could also speak to... Um, I get the um, the idea here that some of you could be finding a job at a physical distance. So maybe even traveling to another area to start a new job. So uprooting. Okay, let's see now, dear Aries, what's going on with family? What's going on with your family? The area of family that could be extended or you know, your uh, close-knit family. So we've got the lovers. We've got the nine of pentacles. And we've got the page of wands. So here we've got Aries. Um, the full card many times is also Uranus. So again, the Aquarian energy and Gemini. Over here in the family sector, we've got the lovers. So there's a head over heart decision, some important decision. It could be um, the root of it. The um, the seed uh, does connect to love, matters of love. I do see here the nine of pentacles, which shows someone knowing their self-worth, someone that is becoming single, making a decision to stand alone, to stand as an individual. Um... This could also be someone that is supporting either you or you're supporting someone financially, um, a family connection of yours. And, you know, the Nine of Pentacles is the Virgo card. So we've got Gemini and Virgo, which is very connected to Mercury. And Mercury does, is the communicator, the messenger, but it is also about logic, um, trickery as well. Be careful. And we've got the Page of Wands. So we've got two similar energies here. So it's like, you know, taking a leap of faith, uh, wanting to go on that adventure, something that you desire or that you're passionate about. So I'm just wondering if some of you are ready and, you know, if you're living with with your family, your parents, those of you that are younger, if you're thinking of, you know, taking that next step and um, leaving the nest. So moving out of home this is not an easy decision for you. And uh, it's very positive having the Nine of Pentacles here, which speaks to financial um, stability and abundance. Someone being able um, to make that move if this is a house move. 
Now, you know, the Nine of Pentacles doesn't have to be you. It could be another family member which is deciding to become single. So I don't know if this is a divorce, if your parents are going through a divorce, if you're from the younger generation. This could also be financial support from, from your family so that you could uh, fly the nest or um, be able, have the ability to create what it is because you know the uh, what it is that you want or that you desire. Because remember, this uh, the, the lovers does speak to a lot of passion, obviously. And it's Gemini. And Gemini, again, speaks to having difficulty in deciding. Now, the North Node uh, in Gemini is where people are trying to, you know, follow their North Node and getting uncomfortable. So, you know, the, the nodes in Gemini and Sagittarius are shifting into Taurus and, and Scorpio. So... It's more about values, so your decisions that have been made um, this past year and a half, let's say, have got to do with what you value and what what is, you know, if you know that you are worthy, that you've got the ability to stand alone um, or to be able even to to support to support maybe a child of yours or the other way around to receive the report, uh, the uh, support, I don't know why I said report, but yeah, so the decision maybe has been made, now it's all about you and your self-worth and knowing that you will be secure, you will feel secure financially, emotionally, uh, physically, to make the moves or to, you know, to make the decisions that you're uh, making also could be at the beginning of the year uh, and in relation to family matters. So there's a risk here. Um, this could also be a messenger, right? Uh, communication concerning decisions around family and around someone's abundance, their ability to stand alone, to feel prosperous, to feel safe and secure and maybe even uh, go through separation or divorce or maybe even start their life, start one's life uh, as an individual and supporting, uh, being supportive of oneself. So that's what I get in the family sector. Let's see what's going on in your health sector. And remember that this can also speak to changes, changes of, for those of you that are, again, the younger generation, um, there could be a new a new uh, person coming into your life, connected to family. So it could be related to a matter of love, a love matter, where one of your parents may be, or could be one of your siblings. Um, there's a new person here. Could be Aries, could be Virgo, could be Gemini, strong energies. Um, within those archetypes. Let's see what's going on in health for you. So we've got the King of Swords, Aquarius, uh, Gemini, Libra, Six of Cups, and we've got the Four of Cups. So a, a very emotional, remember our emotions can steer, so our emotional life and our emotional self can also steer our uh, health on a psychological um, level as well as on a physical level. Now the King of Swords could be a doctor, uh, it could be uh, a surgeon, uh, but what I see because you, you know the King of Swords could also be a psychiatrist, a psychologist, because I do see here Six of Cups and Four of Cups. Now Six of Cups, yes, is balance, it's harmony. It's uh, feeling childlike, so uh, fresh energies, let's say. It is. It does speak to nostalgia. So for those of you that your psychological, your emotional health has affected your physical health, um, and I do see here that um, with the Four of Cups, which is like a helping hand, I'm going to say, could be through conversations, through, as I said, connecting with 
uh, or speaking to someone that is wise. It doesn't have to be a surgeon. It could be just someone that's very intelligent. They're seeing life through a wider perspective. This could be someone wise that is um, giving you their wisdom and helping you out of a psychological or emotional hardship. Um, because I see the Six of Cups and the Four of Cups as it's the Ten of Cups, right? Which speaks to, um, even though there's a, 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 there's a challenging energy because these two cards are separate, the cups are separated, which can speak to an emotional detachment. Um, could also relate to siblings, I'm going to say here. So... You know, King of Swords, uh, someone who will speak their truth, uh, someone who could be very harsh with their words as well. But usually King of Swords is someone quite fair or quite, you know, they've got that ingenious mind. So I don't know if this has got to, because I'm not reading reversals, if the King of Swords could be someone that's just very cutting um, with you, with their words. Maybe a truth that could be quite uh, damaging or hurtful. So, and it can have to do with the past as well. Again, connected to siblings, you're an emotional situation in your life. And we know that the Four of Cups can speak to missed chances, but also um, matters of, you know, not being happy within your home or uh, within a past relationship, which could be affecting your health or just your emotional self, which again, uh, over a prolonged period of feeling emotionally um, sad or, uh, you know, depleted, this could work out to be something that could affect your, your, um, your health, your physical health. So do take care uh, with matters such as these. Now, Six of Cups, again, it speaks to balance and harmony and on another scale, on another level, it's through truths or through uh, education, um, through communication, through um, someone giving you the knowledge or sharing their knowledge with you. You could come to uh, a, a place of harmony, okay, and trust. And the Four of Cups uh, speaks to that maybe this is a mischance that could be coming back as well. So remember that health can uh, branch out to all parts of life. So I don't see anything drastic, anything difficult here. I feel that all will be well in this arena. Remember, ten cups do uh, turn into an ace, so in, the potential for a new beginning. But through your truth and cutting through any crap, um, speaking your truth, so unlocking what you have within and sort of making space in your heart for a new beginning, okay? So that's what I see in the health department, dear Aries. Let's see what's at the bottom of the deck here. We've got the strength card, so we've got Leo. Leo is matters of heart, it's children, it's strength, it's um, passion, it's generosity. And it's also the ability to create. You need to trust in your higher self, your abilities. And you need to be patient, dear Aries. I know it's not an easy thing for you being a fire sign and a cardinal fire sign. But yes, yeah, Spirit is saying that trust in your higher self, your abilities. You've got this. Um, patience is a virtue. And uh, remember, Leo also speaks to leadership. And Aries is very much the leader. So... It's not you taking the back seat, it's you taking the front seat, taking charge of your own life and taking it moving forward to wherever it is that you desire. Now this can relate to matters of heart. Leo is the heart. It's you being having that creative energy um, to move forward, but moving forward from a place of heart. Otherwise it will not work for you. So let's take your oracle... So we've got, it's interesting, we've got Aquarius and Leo, which are fixed signs. Oh, that's interesting. I'm I'm shuffling the book along with the oracles. That's really interesting. Um, 
Yeah, so Leo and Aquarius, which has been mentioned, the fixed signs. This is where, you know, fixed energies, uh, all the fixed signs, Leo, Aquarius, Scorpio and... And... Uh, Taurus will all be challenged in the year of 2022 and for you obviously the Aries um, you know Leo for you is your fifth house logically if you're rising and Sun uh, Aries your fifth house is Leo your eighth house of death and transformation is Scorpio um, your second house of money and self-worth is Taurus and also Aquarius is your 11th house, so groups, associations, wish fulfillments, friendships. So these are the areas that you will be challenged by um, as the nodes will be shifting at the end of the year. Let's see what the message is from the angels, gods and goddesses. Angel of diet and nutrition. Pay attention to what you eat and drink. You intuitively know what is good for you. So that's going to be very important. Remember that what we put into our body, what we um, what we intake, uh, then, you know, that's the beginning. This is the energy that our body um, takes. So n nutritional um, good intake of healthy, um, rich, healthy and nutrients foods will give... You know, what we put into our stomach then comes through um, in the rest of our body, our psychology. You know, what we eat, you are what you eat, dear uh, Aries. So let's see what the angel of diet and nutrition uh, wants you to know. And this is your sixth house, obviously. So Virgo, Virgo comes uh, up for you. Angel of Nutrition. You are being urged to pay attention to what you eat and drink. Make sure you maintain a balanced diet. Remember, you intuitively know what is good for you. Simply pay attention and be mindful. All in moderation. You are also being urged to pay attention to your thoughts. Healthy nutrition is not solely derived from what we eat and drink it also stems from our thoughts positive and loving thoughts are just as nourishing as good food and drink let go of every fearful and negative thought and replace all with love there is nothing to fear so that's a beautiful message dear Aries and with that I will leave you I want to thank you so much thank you for joining me here for liking sharing subscribing and commenting I will uh, continue or do a longer version for 2022. So do press on that notification bell if you have not already. Much love. Ta-da.